simply breathtaking. Such a spectacle brings a tear to this reporter's eye. Or could it be the smoke from that blazing warehouse full of pyrotechnics? Fortunately, the rescue vehicles have arrived. No, Blades, those are fireworks. They're normally used for celebrations. Explosions as entertainment. I'll never understand you humans. All right, everyone. This is a fire, not the 4th of July. Back up, everyone. Let the rescue workers do their jobs. I'm afraid that includes you, Cody. Thank you, Cody. You're a lifesaver. Tell that to my dad. A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. You stay in the in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Cody, you know not to charge into an unstable building. Yeah, that's our job. Why didn't you just call us, bud? You were all busy, and I thought... I mean, I am part of the rescue team, right? A big part, Cody, but a collapsing warehouse? Do you know how much we worry about you? The fact is, son, you're too young to be risking your neck out there. So from now on, you'll be back in the command center for all future rescue operations. But, Dad, I... Not up for discussion. Oh, couldn't he just... From anyone. You know, if keeping Cody protected is the problem... That should keep you safe. But I can't put my arms down. <sighs> we may have a mobility issue. Whoa! And a balance issue. 
100% mobility, 100% protection. I feel like a hamster. Ah! Perhaps if we covered Cody in a suit made of airbags, not only would he be protected, he would conform to all motor vehicle safety standards. I think it's time to call Doc Green. I have just the thing. A hoverboard? I already have one of those. Not the board, Cody. The repulsor technology that keeps it aloft. I get it. A negatronic ion discharge buffer equal to mass times acceleration. Precisely. Can you translate for those of us who don't get an A in physics? Or even take physics? I'll do you one better, Cody. Bring everyone up to the lab tomorrow, and I'll show you. Blades. Peering into windows is socially unacceptable and illegal. So arrest me. I need to see what's going on in there. Doc Green is pinning something to Cody's shirt. It looks like a, a... A badge? Not just a badge, Cody. A repulsor. Turn it on. Cranky. Commence hazard simulation. <gasps> Cody is completely shielded. The repulsor badge senses any incoming threat and instantly projects an energy force field. You have anything to shield us from collateral tomato juice? A negatronic ion discharge buffer. Nice. Well, that should keep Cody safe, right, Dad? I'm afraid the hazards we face were a little more threatening than overripe produce. Cody, crank up the repulsor badge to full power. That's perfectly normal. Cranky? <laughs> <gasps> Heads up, Cody. Cody! Rescue bots, roll to the... Wait, look! God, oh, thank Scared goodness. Us, Noble! It's like I'm invincible. You are, Cody. Now, go ahead and turn the dial down. You'll want to avoid raising the power into the red zone too often, or you could overload the badge. What do you say, Dad? Am I cleared to go back in the field? I suppose we can give it a try. But let's start small. I don't mind starting small, but changing a flat... This makes the mayor's speech seem exciting. And it is with great civic pride that I dedicate this statue honoring one of Griffin Rock's most distinguished citizens. Uh, me. <laughs> I told that sculptor to give me a comb over. All set, Edgar. Oh! <laughs> Rescue bot, stop those pipes! Destruction. A mayor too out of shape to escape. Wow, did I really just do that? Why, young man, 
You're a hero. Not just a hero. A superhero. What? No, I'm just a boy on the rescue team. He calls himself Rescue Boy. And I'm here to bring you his first exclusive interview. Thank you, I think. Yeah, uh, thanks. So, what do you think? About what? Look, if I'm gonna be a superhero, I have to look the part, right? What's a superhero? According to these informational pamphlets, superheroes are masked vigilantes operating outside the law. Actually, they have cool powers they use to help people. So, we're superheroes? Superheroes usually have secret identities. They pretend to be ordinary so they can protect those close to them. Oh, so I guess that means... What do you know? We are superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> this book states that a true superhero uses his power wisely. And it looks like you need to start wearing your underwear on the outside. Let's not get crazy. I couldn't agree more. Cody, a word? Looks pretty legit, right, Dad? Listen, son. Using that repulsor badge to protect yourself is one thing. But I don't want you letting this rescue boy nonsense go to your head. Chief, Cody wouldn't do that. Would you? Badge on! <laughs> Rescue Boy is on the job! Huxley Prescott live on the scene in downtown Griffin Rock, where an automated garbage truck is on an explosive collision course with a gas station. But wait! What's this? It's Rescue Boy! So, if Rescue Boy is now the hero and we clean up after him, what does that make us? According to the reference material, we are sidekicks. Tell me, Rescue Boy, what was going through your mind during that dangerous rescue? I was wondering the exact same thing. What were you thinking? That tree might have fallen on you. The garbage truck nearly ran you over, and worst of all, you could have been trapped in an explosion. I didn't have anything to worry about, Dad. I was wearing my badge. Which is exactly why I'm taking it away. What? I don't understand. It's like a seatbelt, Cody. Wearing one doesn't mean you stop driving safely. This badge is no substitute for common sense. And until you learn that, you're back in the command center. Griffin Rock Emergency. No, Rescue Boy is not available. Stuck on a transmitter tower? I'll send the whole team. Have I ever mentioned that the wind is my mortal enemy? Kate, I have to back off. We can't get the basket close. I'll climb up and get him. Chase Boulder, brace that tower! A tangled torn, a teetering tower, a terrified tot, and a tough time for the rescue team. Oh, where is Rescue Boy when we really need him? Help me! Hang on tight, kid. I'm almost there. 
Whew. Close call for Kate Burns. But now what? Look! Arriving not a moment too soon, it's Rescue Boy! Clearly, this is an unauthorized use of superpowers. Cody, what are you doing? Hold on tight, Billy. <sighs> Thanks, Rescue Boy. No problem. But next time, just buy a new kite. Rescue Boy, how about a quick word for your loyal fans? Uh, camp right now. This emergency's not quite over. Dad, you said I had to sit down until I learned some common sense. Well, when I saw... Ow! Uh, Dad, what's wrong with my badge? Must be overloaded. No! down to you. Vehicle modes, now! Graham, get over to Doc Green's as fast as you can. On it. No! The repulsor badge thinks you're a threat! Back up, back up! You don't need to tell me twice! Yes! And just so you know, that repulsor badge is my new mortal enemy. right off of him. Whoa, hothead. Throttle back. I can't just sit around doing nothing. We are doing something, waiting patiently for a solution. Until we find one, we stay back, and nobody steps out of their vehicle. Cody, how are you holding up? Uh, I'm OK, I guess. I just want to get rid of this thing. Don't worry. Graham went to see Doc Green. They'll figure something out. We figured something out. You'll notice how my hand can't penetrate the hoverboard's repulsor field. But on the other hand... I use a neutralizing glove. Which dampens the field. Perfect! We need gloves, Doc. Robot-sized. The badge is overheating! Help is on the way, son. Hang tight, little bro. We'll have that badge off in no time. I wish I'd never put it on. to move? What Cody's getting at is if we move slowly, the badge might not be able to detect us. Easy. Easy. Freeze, everyone. Too much movement at once. Older and Graham, you're closest. 
guys. Can you go slow a little faster? Steady, steady, Boulder. Got it. The badge is about to blow. Get rid of it. I'm so sorry, everyone. Yeah, whatever. Are you You're all right? Hurt, are you? Checked out. I'm fine, really. Just tired. Being a superhero really takes it out of a fella, huh? <sighs> superhero? That tech would be more at home on a super villain. Like I said, mortal enemy. You were right, Dad. That badge made me take dumb risks. I don't deserve to be in the field. You were wise enough to help solve the problem you started. Well, I think we can still find room for you on some of the rescue calls. Really? Just promise me Rescue Boy is retired from the Force. <laughs> I already turned in my badge. <laughs>